there! I just came back from crying in a corner because that's what BTS does to me. Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Deja. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey, thanks for stopping by. So I know all the army out there are slowly but surely getting ready for BTS's comeback. But until that day comes, we have Face Yourself, which graced our ears. And I'm gonna talk about it because it was, it was art and I had a lot of different emotions running through me when I heard this for the first time, as did many of you, I'm sure. I'm so surprised that I survived listening to that in its entirety. Like, wow, I'm a champ. But before we get on down to today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, guys. That helped me out so much. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all of my social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, heck, Facebook if you're adventurous, go in the description below and follow me. All right, let's, let's start talking about BTS and how much they love to make me cry. So aside from the Japanese versions of DNA, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Mic Drop, Best of Me, Spring Day, and all of those, Every song on Face Yourself is a new one. Best believe I wasn't prepared, your girl wasn't ready, but I went in head first thinking, oh, I'll be fine if I come out the other side. I'm not. I'm bald now from my forehead to the nape of my neck. No hair resides there. This is just great editing skills. First, the first song on Face Yourself is the intro, which I, I'm trying to, I can't pronounce it, but y'all know what the intro song is. It's kind of like a mashup of, I think it was like Best of Me and I think Dimple, I want to say. I'm probably butchering it right now, but it was like a mashup of a couple of their songs with like a cool EDM kind of feel. And I was really here for it. I was like, oh. I could maybe use this as a ringtone if we're feeling fancy and adventurous. I loved it. The next song that I had was do the one that everyone and their mother and their grandmother and their great grandmother was talking about was Don't Leave Me. And I saw it trending on Twitter when it was first brought to my attention. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be a great song. Super cute, I'm excited. <laughs> I was not ready for the first like 10 seconds, I wanna say because my baby Young, we love Kim Young in this household. He's, he's my child. I just love him to bits. And he just makes my heart feel so happy. But I wasn't ready for this. Like what was that, Tay? What was that? How dare you? How dare you do that? I didn't ask for this kind of abuse. Like his voice just went like through the floor. It was so deep and it was it was just beautiful. I'm like, wow, Tay. I'm trying to stay loyal to Rap Monster, but you're really testing me right now. I'm gonna need you to chill out. Chill out, bro, chill out. And then of course, just the whole vocal line was just giving me everything I could ever want. Junko sounding like an angel per usual. <laughs> I love my son. And you know, the song was going great. I was enjoying it, I was loving it. I was like, oh my god, I love this song. I think I know what everybody's talking about. But no, I was so wrong because Junka wasn't the reason why people were talking about the song. V was not the reason why people were talking about the song. Hell, not even Suga and Rap Monster were the reason why people were talking about the song. Is because this man right here, the Otis of BTS, just doing this Jin, listen, Jin, listen. I, oh God, okay, how do I say this? I didn't need that. I really didn't. So here's a descript, like, here's a visual of what happened to me when I heard Jin do all that. Here is me in a car driving in the in the in the right lane, right? I'm driving in the right lane. Mind my business, trying to live my best life. The right lane is Rap Monster. My bias, my baby, my ride or die. Ooh, here's Jin 
in the left lane, chilling, mind his own business. He sees me, he jumps over the barricade, runs me off the road. That's exactly what happened when I heard Jin do all of this foolishness. Like, I'm trying to stay loyal to my man, and you're not helping. The next song on Face Yourself was Let Go. Girl, I let go of my insecurities, my worries. I let go of... <laughs> that song made me just wanna throw stuff away. I, I just, I live for the vocals. Everybody said it's so good. But listen, the, the song on Face Yourself that had me crying and I felt like I got my heart broken was Crystal Snow. And that was even before I read the English translation. Crystal Snow was such a pretty song. It was like, it was like Spring Day's hotter sister. Like Spring Day's cute, but Crystal Snow, Crystal Snow got me so in my feelings. And then Jin did that thing again. He did this thing. And then V did it again. And you know, Jungkook just loves to destroy us all with his vocals. Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! I'll take the chicken. Destroy us all! Like, did any of us ask for that? I don't think so. I think we're all just trying to live our best, peaceful, unbothered life without you guys coming in and hurting us like this. I need you to chill out. I really need you to stop because that, that was a lot. I didn't ask for any of that. I'm just trying to graduate and get my degree with peace in mind for the most part and then BTS just come in and just do what they do. Just hurt me and think it's okay, but it's not. Guess what? I'm going to sue you for emotional distress. But face yourself as an experience and I just really hope I'm not the only one that feels attacked by Jin because I feel like my bias is wrecked. Before, my bias record of BTS was Definitely 100% Junka because he would just go from being adorable little kooky. And then do foolishness like this. And I was just looking at Rad Monster and be like, look, I'm trying to be loyal. Like, it's not you. It's me. It's actually me and Jungkook. So it's not you. Don't blame yourself. It's your... I don't know what to tell you, bro. But yeah, that's, that's me trying to articulate my feelings for Face Yourself in the most sane way possible. <laughs> I hope I'm not crazy. I hope I don't look insane. But... God, I'm not ready for their comeback. <laughs> okay guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you related to me in some way. I hope I'm not the only one that looks crazy or feels like BTS is out to get me every time they do anything. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all of my social media, they'll all be in the description below. And so I see you guys again next time. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys!